Hello, I'm Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and on uh, YouTube, I go by the handle of Walls Bee Man because we live in Walls, Mississippi. And uh, you can go, you can uh, go to Walls Bee Man and see all our videos. Now, my son rescued another swarm today with his vacuum cleaner. You may hear it running in the background. Today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm on how I'm gonna put this swarm. Uh, in the hive and the vacuum cleaner is a regular vacuum cleaner you do not have to go buy a BVAC this is a regular vacuum cleaner you can always use it as a vacuum cleaner or you can collect bees with it and I'll, I'll show you in detail uh, there's not much detail to it and how, how it works and um, you know uh, a swarm or bees is like a like a woman. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Uh, they're like a, a, a human. Uh, you kind of gotta test the water and see what kind of attitude or disposition they're in, you know, at the given time. So uh, when I take this uh, top off the back, I'll, I'll get a real good feeling, you know, if they're in a good mood or not. Now, usually swarms are very gentle. Usually. I have got into one. I mean, they, they, it was a bad day for them. They was mean. So here we go, and, and uh, I'm going to show you. The, it's in the pickup truck with the, with the generator running. You have to have a generator with this setup. You have to. You have to have a generator with any BVAC, or, or they will uh, get hot real quick and die. You will not make it home with them if you don't have a... A generator running the vacuum cleaner to keep them cool down. So I'm gonna show it to you in the back of the truck, and then I'm gonna cut the generator off, and then you, then you, I can narrate. Okay, there's a vacuum cleaner in the back of the truck with the uh, generator. It's a small generator, and uh, so I just want you to see it there, and I'm, I'm gonna move it down in front of where I'm gonna put the bee. I, I just. Uh, I just turned off the generator, and so I'm not I'm not going to be very close for you, but uh, maybe I can get maybe I can get a little a little closer. All right, now uh, this is the high body. It's in here. All right, this is the bottom board. This just simply sits on there. You don't you, you do not attach it. Now I'm going to take. I'm going to take some, about four frames out of the center of this, of this hive. I'm going to set this hive body down on the bottom board like this. And I've got a piece of cardboard down here so the bees that fall on the ground, they can crawl on in there. All right, now, let me see if you can, uh, uh, I'm gonna try to get this vacuum cleaner over here close where you can see. Now, I'm, this is a regular vacuum cleaner. Uh, and so I don't know. This is my son's I'm trying to figure out how to get the thing. Uh, oh, here we go. All right. He said it's a pretty good swarm. All right, now. now See here, they're not on the on the filter at all this time. All right, I'm gonna lay aside. Now, I don't know if you can see. Can you see the bees inside? All right. Now I'm simply gonna try to dump them most in the hive. All right. Now. Now I'm going to put these other frames back in. I'm going to have to feed, the, the honey flow is over with. I'm going to have to feed these bees because there, there's no there's no no food. Now the, these bees here is on this cardboard. And so I'm going to dump them right there. All right, now. Okay. This is a migrant. This is a migratory top. Commercial beekeepers use this kind of top. 
uh, they can they can also use it as a as a pallet because you see how it's made. And uh, most hobby beekeepers have a telescoping top. In other words, there's a, a re, there's a, 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 a around the outside there's a ridge around the outside. So all right. Uh, we're just gonna slide that on gently. Kinda kinda. Alright. Now. Alright, that's that's about it. And uh uh, I'll mix up a, uh, some sugar syrup and give to them because uh, uh, there, there's no food in there. Now, now let me let, let me uh, show y'all uh, trying to explain this uh, this vacuum cleaner. Now, There's nothing wrong with people selling selling uh, 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 sw swarm boxes, okay? Everybody needs to make some money. But I'm just telling you, you do not have to buy a swarm box. If you buy a swarm box, you still have to have a generator. The bees, when they the bees get in there, they will overheat fast, real fast, and die. That's a that's there's not too many guarantees with bees, but that is a guarantee. Now, this is a regular vacuum cleaner, and you can continue using it as a regular vacuum cleaner. Uh, what my son discovered is uh, instead, instead of the hose hooked up here, uh, when the bees come in here, uh, when the bees come in here, they, they, would, they, would, they would hit this in here. And it would damage a lot of the bees. So he he discovered he discovered that if he simply cut a hole in the bottom of the vacuum cleaner right there, then I don't have his hose. Then his hose would stick right in there like that. And when they when they got vacuumed up through the bottom like that, they didn't hit anything as they come in. And it doesn't damage them, doesn't hurt them. So, it's very, very simple, very ingenious. My son, he is a hard worker. Well, all three of our young'uns are. And uh, so, this is all you need, and you can continue using this as a regular vacuum cleaner if you want to. But I'm, I'm telling you, you, you have to, you have to have that generator. This, this vacuum cleaner has to stay running all the time. Although that swarm in there will overheat and they will die, you will not get home with them. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to I'm going to set this hive up on the on the on the bee stand. Excuse my backside. And all right, now we're going to we're going we're going to give them a, a gallon of sugar syrup. And it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what size jar you use. Fill it half full of water, and then the rest of it with sugar. Now, that is the the sweet that is the sweetest you need. You can do it thinner than that. Now, you might think this is simple, but I, I want to caution you on something. Uh, uh, by the way, this is a one this is a one gallon jar. Years ago, Coca Cola got their concentrate in this jar. It's taller, it's more narrow, and it'll fit on a front feeder. I don't know if they get their concentrate in these glass jars still again or not. Now, put some Vaseline around this lid before you, you want it on tight. Uh, uh, if you don't put Vaseline on there, you'll have the Dickens getting it off of there. All right, now, here's something else. The honey flow is over with. And, and and do not drip any sugar syrup around here. So what I'm going to do is is I ain't going to turn this upside down right here. Well, I could. I, I can do that. As long as I'm careful that all the dripping goes in, inside this feeder. So uh, here we go. And and I'm going I'm going to tip it up. All right. Now there it is. Now. Uh, 
one other thing. Uh, your jar, don't let it get low. If, if you let this jar get low, when the sun comes out the next morning and, and hits this jar, it will cause it to lose its vacuum and the syrup will run out and then you most likely will get robbing started. And uh, there's one other thing I want to mention real quick. A bee, a bee, uh, 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 one of our viewers said, warn people, when you put a new queen in a hive, pay real attention that you take the correct cork out. Okay? Very, very important. I've done it. People have done it this year. Pay attention which cork you're taking out. Because if you take the wrong cork out, she's a goner. All right, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you, but the last Super Bowl, well, we went to it, you know, and and uh, we're sitting, sit, got got her seat, and uh, there's a lady there next to me, and she had a vacant seat beside her. And, uh, I mean, the game getting ready to start, and uh, it's still vacant. So I spoke to her, and, and I said, uh, my goodness, said, uh, your, your, your seat's vacant there. She said, yeah, I said, uh, my husband and I, we have, uh, you know, uh, tickets every year, and he died. I said, well, I'm, I'm so sorry. And uh, sorry to hear for your loss, you know. And, uh, of course, the next thing I thought, I asked her, I said, well, I'm surprised that one of your relatives didn't jump at the chance to, you know, join you here at the Super Bowl. This is, this is a great event. And uh, I'm surprised uh, one of them didn't join you. She said, yeah, I said, uh, I am too, said, but they all chose to go to the funeral. <laughs> all right. If y'all have any questions, let me let me know. <laughs>